All right, uh... Yeah, this this is fine. We need to come up with a name for her. What, sh what should we name... May have to pick my brain on what mods I've got going there. Okay. That, that's fine. Um... I know what I'm doing. My favorite necromancer. Liliana. Boom. Alright, now all the mods have to actually install. <laughs> this this might take a second. This is an alternate start? Hell yeah. You, you think I want to be pigeonholed into that, that carriage ride in Helgen? Hell no. Is Liliana a Magic the Gathering reference? Hell yes. Did you guys see that Netflix is making a Magic the Gathering series? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh man, that's so cool. All right, um, let's check out the mod configuration menu. All right, I I, I can tell you some mods and what they do. Wet and cold is a mod that adds like, if you're out in the snow, like snow will accumulate on your character. If you're out in the rain, like rain water will drip off of your character. You know, things like that. The guy on the poster looked like what would happen if Ghost Rider photoshopped his photo for a Tinder profile. That's a that's a girl, actually. That's Chandra Nalar. Thank God it's not DS2. Amen, Brett. Amen. Did I ever play survival mode in Special Edition? Fuck no. Why would I ever do that to myself? Alright, so let's see. Um yeah, this is fine. Um, meh, meh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Apocalypse spells. We don't need to adjust anything there. This is for a mod called Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim, which adds a whole bunch of spells. It's basic. This this mod is so common. Apocalypse is basically considered vanilla at this point. Uh, ASG multi-threaded makes it so the wrong size soul doesn't go into soul gems. Clean up your corpses is exactly what it sounds like. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. We're going to set that to something other than escape. Um, we're going to turn... We're going to turn the widget off. Cause that's annoying. Am I using vanilla perks? Yes. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of perk overhauls. Whoops, that was the console. All right, let's let's get the input display up. There we go. Forgotten magic is cool. It's another spell pack that we're actually going to be using quite a bit for this. Uh, holidays. It's exactly what it sounds like. Did they ever make Frostfall for special edition? Yes. Yes, they did. Hunterborn is a cool mod. It, it basically completely revamps the loot you get from animal corpses. So, that's cool. Exit MCM to start Hunterborn, okay? Exactly, Merc. Unless you turn that off. Which I'm going to, because that's annoying. <laughs> so let's see, um... Features... No, 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 no. Tweaks, um... We'll remove the manual loot option... Knives at merchants... I, I guess... I guess it doesn't really matter if a knife isn't required. 
Um, enable. Uh, this is all fine. Hotkeys, don't need any of those. Stats, Monster Hunter. This will be fun. We'll add dragons to the list. Have I ever used Scrimshaw Expanded? I've never heard of that. What is that? Legendary Dragon? Oh god, those things are annoying. Alright, Immersive College of Winterhold. This is the mod that convinced me I needed to switch to PC gaming. It basically turns the College of Winterhold into Hogwarts. And I'm very excited about it. Because I, lo I love it. I love it. It's... It's practically mandatory for me. Alright, let's see. We're gonna have to bump this up a little bit. Um, no. Fendrix Magic Evolved, that's fine. Player Size Adjuster, let's see, I'm a High Elf. So I think that's 1.08. Sky UI is fine, Sleep is fine. Take Notes, I'm probably gonna use that to like keep track of things. Uh, controls, we're gonna wanna open the journal with H. It's called Vortex now, I'm still, I'm still using Nexus Mod Manager. And you can't make me switch. Oh my god. Lantern hotkey B. I hope. Maybe. God, that's all fucked up. Okay. Um let's Let's go over here. Approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin. There's a patch for that? Okay, good. All right. What start should we do, guys? I'm tempted to say I'm a new member of a guild, but that's too easy. Is it now? Yes. All right. Let's say. Uh, let's say I'm a necromancer in a secret location. Beware the forces of the undead necromancer. That'll fit in. What alternate start mod is this? This is alternate start live another life. Why not be a homeowner and use the basement as thrall storage? Uh, we'll, we'll get there. We will get there. Alright. Boop. Okay. Is this not the game where you start as a prisoner on a cart? It is, but it's heavily modded. Alright, so let's let's get rid of these. Alright, so now I need some spells. I need some spells for this build. So we're gonna We're gonna go ahead and get them. See, forgotten magic. Where is forgotten magic? Here it is. Was a monster and shoved the letters from a friend into dead bodies so they never disappear and then kept them in your basement? Ever needed a different one, you would kill one thrall in the basement and replace it? Jesus. That's awesome, though. <laughs> Alright, so the idea behind this playthrough is pretty simple. We're, uh, we're going to become an extremely powerful necromancer, and then we're going to kill Tamriel. That's, uh, that's the plan, at least. Let's see, we want Blight Curse, Necrosis, Void Bolt, Death Guard, Deathly Paul, and then we want, uh... Okado's Recital. Where is Apocalypse? Am I going to murder everyone? Yes. I'm an evil necromancer. That's what I do. Here we go. 
Oh, shit. Um... Damn it! Wrong part. Hey, 8-Bit. Welcome back. Eh. Uh... Apocalypse. Okado's Recital. Okay. What's the plan here? Played this a long time ago and the details are fuzzy. We are going to become an extremely powerful necromancer and kill everybody in the world. That's the plan. We're going to kill everybody in the world and we're going to make them pawns in our undead army. <laughs> All right. All right, so the way Okado's recital works... Where did, did I not learn it? I did not, okay. The way Okado's recital works is you have Okado's recital in your right hand and then you have another spell in your left hand. So with these spells, you cast Okado's recital and this spell is now saved. So every time you enter combat, that spell will automatically be cast for no magicka. So that's convenient. Pick up that damn Nern root. All right, fine. We'll pick up the Nern root. Just so it shuts up. God damn it, I started the quest. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Alright, do you guys want music or is the in-game music okay? Oh, hello. Why are you here? Oh, you're here for my... Artificer. Better be ready to fight like a beast when you leave this room. Oh, I know. Trust me, I know. Can I... All right, I have the magicka to summon my death guard. Okay. I think, uh, let's, let's see, what gear do we have? Conjuration, boots of sneaking, okay. Um... What else can we, what else can we gather in here? Uh, raise zombie, lesser ward, conjure familiar. We don't need any of that right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... Get rid of that prank, or get rid of that prank. <laughs> I, I reread what 8 bit wrote. Get rid of that quest, which was the prank, so technically true, I guess. All right, we're going to need this to get back in here. What's in here? Healing. We can sell this. Hmm. All right, so our main minion for a while is going to be this guy. Our death guard. Alright, I don't have enough magic to do that. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> chef! Hi, Chef. Go, Death Guard! Death Guard! The fuck are you doing? Really, bruh? Playing your current comfort game? It's my always comfort game. Oh, shit. There's nothing at this point I can do to stop the comet from hitting the earth, is there?
Death card is broke. That's all right. I'll summon another one. Vaster than the blackness of space. You're right. Oh, fuck me. Dude, these death guards suck. <laughs> Where are you going? Best mods are better than any vanilla quest and the worst are crayon drawings smeared with mashed potatoes. You're right. Summon Arvac? Can't do that yet. We didn't do that DLC. Yoink. Alright, so this character is... built around a quest mod called Undeath. Which, if I make all the right decisions in a quest line, will allow me to become a lich. So that'll be fun. That's right, not a vampire, vampire, vampire lord, or a werewolf, but a lich. You can become a lich with mods, you can. Hit me up for good added content? Hell yeah, dude. Skyrim is probably the one game that I have more time in than Dark Souls 1. And basically all of it has been modded. Don't even need mods, you're already a leech on society. You aw, oh, you're alright, 8 bit. You not a leech. God damn it. How's volume, by the way, guys? Heh. 8 bit, I understand that reference. The fuck? Volume seems good. All right. Yoink. You didn't. Literally all you missed was setup. Oh balls. Get wrecked. Oh shit. We're in trouble. Luckily, we're a high elf, so we can use highborn. Pop the link to Undeath for Skyrim SE into your Discord for people. Nice. Are you the best boy? You're you're definitely up there. Speed run to summon Daedra. Spell and then just dance. Alright. This is the Hunterborn mod, so instead of just looting the Taurus, I can extract Venom. Harvest ingredients. Oh, that won't do. That takes too long. Uh, tweaks. There's got to be a way to turn that animation. There we go. Elves always got to be dramatic. Don't talk shit on elves. Elves are the best. Okay. Yoink. Elves are the best. Don't you guys know? Elven supremacy is the only truth. 
Hey, should I fuck with this dude? I feel like I should fuck with this dude. Like Argonians and Dunmer. Or Argonians and Nords. Or Argonians and Imperials. Or Argonians and other Argonians. Damn Argonians, they ruined Black Marsh. Have to kill Big Chungus? You're right. Big Chungus must die. Hello, Chungus. Are the gargoyles going to, uh, are they going to come take me to Anne Orlando now? If the enemy description actually said Big Chungus, you might have, you would have passed out laughing. Oh man, there's, there's gotta be a mod for that. Tales of Elven Supremacy after I played an Orc Berserker and a Chaos Greatsword? No thank you. Where's my health meter? Well, it's currently full. But generally, there's three bars at the bottom. Let's, uh... Let's see if I can trigger it to show up by hurting myself. Well, here. I'll just use console commands. Cheat myself up in the air here. There. See it in the middle? That's my health meter. But when it's full... It won't show up. The blue meter on the left is my magicka, which is like, which is literally my mana, and the one on the right is my stamina. So let's, uh, where's the thing? Bonk. A mod that adds the entire B-movie script as a book, and it's quite essential for any real playthrough. There used to be a mod that added, like, Oh, no worries, Brett. No worries. There used to be a mod that added, uh... Like, you know how there are books of magic in the game? It added, like, actual books written by, like, Aleister Crowley and shit. Like, actual occult books. Which, you know, is utter nonsense, but still really cool. Uh oh. Get fucked, bandit. Yoink. Yoink. Perfect description of the occult. Really cool nonsense. Absolutely. Poor woman never had a chance. Jerry Seinfeld was a Norse god? I don't think that's accurate. You know that body? Yep, that's UNP. Oh, hey, look, a wolf. Wolf field dress, skin and pelt, harvest ingredients, butcher meat. Oh, you thought that was CBBE? I'm pretty sure that's UNP. No, that's definitely UNP, because I only use CBBE for Fallout 4. Hi. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Nope. That's fine. All right, then. Gonna pass. So, uh, you guys might hate me for this, but, uh... We're gonna be siding with the Stormcloaks in the Civil War. 
wait. Don't get don't get angry. Hear me out. Let me tell you why. The reason why we're siding with the Stormcloaks is because Skyrim will be much easier for us to conquer. If it doesn't have the Empire for backup. And that's what we're doing here. We are trying to conquer Skyrim. Probably shouldn't say that very loudly with all these Legionnaires standing around, but that's what we're doing. Yeah, Stormcloaks don't like cat people, or lizard people, or dark people, or people with pointy ears, or, <laughs> or Nords. Damn Stormcloaks, they ruined Skyrim. See, it, it, it's funny because that one's accurate. <laughs> Before Nords showed up, this land belonged to the High Elves, or not the High Elves, the Snow Elves. Goddamn at Morins. They ruined at Mora. What about the skull? They're on Solstheim. Solstheim isn't part of Skyrim. It was a long time ago. But not now. Skyrim belongs to the Nords, but not the Nords we don't like. That's right. <laughs> Skyrim belongs to these specific Nords. I'm on thin ice. No, I'm not. I'm on a stone road. Skyrim belongs to me and the boys. Skyrim belongs to me. It's in my Steam library. I purchased it. I keep forgetting I can't dual cast at this point. Uh, that's a giant camp. We're not going to fuck with that right now. Skyrim belongs to Shouty Nordic Man, according to Shouty Nordic Man. Well, we'll see how Shouty Nordic Man does against Shouty Elven Woman. Nobody else can own Skyrim because I do, that's right. <laughs> Shouty Nordic Man shouts at Cloud. Technically. Technically, with the clear skies shout. That can happen. And get this. Get this. The cloud leaves. Gonna get dragon powers or just keep the necrophilia? Necromancy, sir. Necromancy. You need something? And of course I'm gonna get dragon powers. Hello. Ah, father and me fuddled! Stuck here! Stuck! My mother, my poor mother! I'm moving at rest, but too still. Am I using Thunderchild? No. Yeah, I agree. Cicero's annoying. Necrophilia is when necromancy gets a little too... Romancing? Yikes. Oh, it's okay. I, I expect there to be lots of necromancer jokes by the end of this playthrough. The fuck? Who's fighting what? Why is there fight music? The the oh, oh okay bye. Guy in the base game who lives in an ice cave and learned necromancy just to bang some girl he liked. Oh god, he learned necromancy to impress her, right? Not to. You know what? Never mind. I I don't want to know. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Oh, what the hell do you want? Let's see. Gift of John Travolta from Pulp Fiction. 
She's a dragonborn. Does that make this girl a snecromancer? I don't get it. Oh, carriage advert. Okay. Note from a corpse? Oh, it's it's the person who was outside. Okay. Dragons would be very cross to be compared to snakes. I agree. Dragons are proud creatures. Speaking of creatures... Field dress, skin pelt, okay. Harvest ingredients, butcher meat, and we're done. Her dead body is in his bed and he revives her again. It's in the lore. Yikes. Skyrim's a fucked up place. That's why we're gonna kill everybody in it. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with your mother. Oh! I think all of Nern is a fucked up place, but let's not go all Thanos about it. <laughs> That's right, Uveal. No more Dark Souls 2. We done with Dark Souls 2. Also, Lusty Argonian maid. Would you guys bang an Argonian? See, this is something that makes me mad. The giant always dies before I can even notice it and get over there. Oh, here comes Ayala to be a bitch. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Uh, you didn't look like you needed my help. Certainly not, but a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. What is a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. A bad dog. Heh <laughs> Bit off topic, but what would be the best soul grinding spot in DS3, in my opinion? Um. Probably the stairs outside of Twin Princes, maybe? If you're willing to put. Actually, no. You, you know the roof of the. the archives where those three big fat ass knights are? There, probably. I think they drop a shitload of souls when you kill them. Shield brother. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, sounds like a waste of time. Well, nobody asked you. You did. If you think you're better than we are, go talk to Codlac Whitemane. See what a warrior of true metal is like. I know I'm better. I'm the dragonborn, bitch. What are you gonna do about it? You're not even essential after your quest line is over. Bitch. 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 Cat fight? I'd watch a cat fight between Ayala and my character. And admit it, you would too. Cat fight. We're not even Khajiit. Need something? Uh, mm -hmm. Who the hell are you? What do you need? Criminal. Oh, you're from the Jobs of Skyrim mod. Okay. Excited just to see Ayala throw down? I'd be excited to see Ayala throw- You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Killed the entirety of the companions, then used them for thralls and kept them in your basement? Nice. <laughs> a rad action scene? Yeah, it would be really cool, wouldn't it? You don't really get to see a lot of her in the companion's quest line.
There are mods for that too, probably anyway. Oh, Mark acting like he doesn't have a Lover's Lab account. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? There really are mods for everything. Hi, Ian. Guys, can we get a shout out for Ian, please? Come to chat with an old Why did I come to Whiterun? Do your good deed for the day. Oh, to sell stuff. Yeah, Whiterun doesn't Whiterun. look like shit. I've got a mod called Project Hippie that adds plants and vegetation fucking everywhere. Do you like horses? It's part of why my frame rate was tanking outside of the city. Thank you, guys. Have a Lover's Lab account, but don't currently have any mods from there installed. Don't judge you. I'm not going to judge you. So you can spend it on drinks at the Bannered Mare. If it's food you need, ask for that instead. Whenever you want, I'll find a more charitable soul. How you doing, Ian? That's what I thought. Everyone, check Ian out. He does all kinds of challenge runs in video games. By the way, this lady right here, this little cutie, she was my wife in my first playthrough. Ah, Isolde. Bye. She legit with the drugs, bro. Well, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know her when I'm. I didn't know that when I married her. No lollygagging. Got the run, Kappa. Which run? Doom Hitless? Isolde was everyone's first wife? Well, I mean, you just bring her a mammoth tusk. It's not hard. You just bring her a piece of dead animal and she wants to marry yes. you. Why did I come here? Oh, to sell shit. That's why I came here. OG Welcome Doom Hitless? Nice. GG. Welcome indeed. I should probably go to Adrian first. Because there are only some things that the blacksmith will accept. Weapons and armor and whatnot. Where the fuck did she go? What time is it? She should still be open. Is she hiding inside? No, oh, she's she's probably inside because it's raining. Got something for just about Been digging around looking before you say world first in the title. Nice. Uh, you'll work too. Welcome to Warmate, the finest weapons and armor. Who's a pussy? Uh-huh. Good doing business with you. Oh, the smith? I, I wouldn't know. I've never fought her. <laughs> she died on your save? Sounds like vampires. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. I don't recall asking you a goddamn thing. Everything. I'd even buy. Take a look. All right. Uh, here. Take this and this and this and this and this. And I don't need this, or this. You can have this too. And all of this, and all of this shit. Um... Yeah, I don't need any of this shit. Okay. Do come back. Don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Is this all modded? Oh god, yeah. I... I modded it into oblivion, no pun intended. I do have a culture in magic, Uviel. In fact, I'm playing as a necromancer, so that's why I named this character Liliana. Hmm? Alright, let's, uh... Let's make our way to Winterhold. Did the same with Fallout New Vegas makes the game actually enjoyable. I'm telling you, Bethesda doesn't make games, they make modding platforms. Alright, how much gold do we have? Okay. It's a good start.
Oh yeah, Liliana Vess is uh, Craigasm. I'm excited to see where her storyline goes after War of the Spark. You can use illusion illusion magic to pacify the Dawn Guard and buy their spells when you're a vampire. I think I knew that. Not till death, then come back. <laughs> Produce a plank of wood and some tools, and the mod community makes houses out of it. What does? As a thrall of hers? Oh, I'd, I'd love to be enthralled by Liliana. Need a ride? I mean, I kind of already am. Take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? Take me to Winterhold. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Oh, Bethesda. Okay, I get it now. Getting too wet back there. Lily can't turn me into a thrall. She's already got me enthralled. Have a Demir Commander deck with her all over the place in it? You know, this is weird. I'm probably the only person in the world who likes the magic lore more than the card game. Yeah, true story, Ian. How much the sea swallows up. I'll outlast them all. How come you're in Winterhold? My pa says people like you are the reason no one lives here anymore. Your pa's a piece of shit. Oh, by the way, yes, this is Winterhold. Modded as hell. And I love it. Magic lore? Yeah, believe it or not. What do you think you're going? Believe it or not, Magic the Gathering has lore. A lot of it. It's really good, too. Hello. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Want to bet? Why are you out here? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if in the process my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. There is you, Veal. The more important question is, why are you here? It's literally called killable children. Uh, may I enter the college? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? All right, and I'm pretty sure I know which answer Liliana would pick. I just wanted to see what it looks like inside. Ha, huh. humor is often in short supply here. But I sense that perhaps you're after more than just that. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? I'm hot. Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Fun fact, this persuasion check here only works if you have a hundred speech. Which I do not, so I'll take your test. Excellent. The mage light spell is useful to any mage, not just those specializing in alteration. Can you cast one on the seal on the ground? I don't know that spell. No? Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Escaping death, oh wait, is Gideon here? Oh boy, uh, you need to read War of the Spark. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Only 30? That's significantly cheaper than, uh, than the spell tome would cost. Much knowledge lies within the college. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. Thank you. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Oh, I always want to speak to Mirabel Irvine. No matter what, the college will endure. Use Mage Light and Dark Souls once because you're still a Dumbo in the tomb? I used, uh, I used that when, uh... When I was learning the layout. Is there a mod that disables fast travel outside of carriages? Yes. Alright guys, are you ready to see the Immersive College of Winterhold mod? This is the mod that convinced me I needed to switch to gaming on PC. Sunbug hat too, always save Solaire. You should be noticing some differences already if you're at all familiar with the college. For instance, 
These two wings aren't there in the vanilla game. I wonder what those could be. Bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find that Balnor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the college here at the Is it too dark, Gas? You want I me to brighten it up a bit? The opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. By the way, you'll notice that Mirabel Irvine, the master wizard with this mod. Welcome to the college is actually wearing master robes and not apprentice robes. <laughs> I was told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Listen to her throwing shade at my necromancer robes. I'd love to have a look around. Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. <laughs> I love when the book gets stuck in her hand. Here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. <laughs> Thus, <laughs> I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more Just keep her talking? entry procedures due to some problems with the local nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never And you shall feel my wrath! Oh, God. Hi, Juke. I'm covered in snow. Henlo, strimmer person. Hey, Pearson. You like her voice? Yeah, me too. Hey, Yomu. Hi, everybody. Juke, thank you for the raid. Pearson Coobs, thank you for shouting out Jukebox Haiku. Juke, what were you doing? How has 8 Mile become person? How are you guys doing? Hey, Dark Souls 2 is done, so I'm playing a game I actually like. Juke was killing Connor? I don't know what that means. Our I've never actually played it. Down Fucking yourself. Amazonian woman, you look like 6'6 six, six next to her. I'm a high elf. Delicate experiments. You became mission you became Michigan? Hey Wintors. You killed the things? What did the things ever do to you? You make the mistakes? Elves be tall? Elves are tall, especially in Elder Scrolls lore. And Bretons are known for being short, and she's a Breton, so hello. You're supposed to be doing stuff. After I finish showing you the grounds, we can talk. Okay. What? Are you broken? There she goes. Now Juke I'll kills good boys. Quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is Just remember everyone stay. being the this same height. And desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. I might have a mod that adjusts it so the heights are lore-friendly. I don't know. As the command says, my mod manager is full of fuckery, to the point where even I don't know what fucking mods I have installed. <laughs> Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfta. Yeah, as soon as I heard there was no news on Test 6, I lost all interest in research. I didn't fucking ask you, Arniel. Hey, Arniel! Did it, 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 Install a mod to tell you. Mirabel, get over here. The exact nature of my research is a secret. I don't recall asking you a fucking thing. I... Everyone here is a dick. Except you, Berlina. You're cool. Mmm, dark elf women. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Will do. See Keanu Reeves, no gameplay, but John Wick is there, so it's good. 
study the dick magic? That might be that might be too advanced for me at this point. Yes. Whee! Welcome, welcome. Oh, this is part of the mod. Stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is. By the way, Duke. This is the mod I was telling you about long ago, the one that basically turns the college into Hogwarts. What time is it? 6.43 a.m., nice. We all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Give it a second, Juke. Give it a what second. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness we have to sit through this cutscene. <laughs> or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. <laughs> what do you think we should do? You're right, 8-Bit. You're right. Let's learn something practical. Is that so? See, she agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? Expecto right, Mati Skyrimus. <laughs> I suppose we can try something practical. You don't have to expect it, it's here. Our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward. We'll see if you can successfully use it to block It spell. worked. All right. QED. Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? Here's my question. Why is the alteration professor teaching us about a restoration spell? But whatever. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward. Now, if you just stand... Free ward. All right. Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Uh, Are you... Well, then this... Now, we already did this. Stand right over there, I'm standing over here. A spell at you, and you block it with the wall. Here we go. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. All right. So I've got a. Uh mod that delays the mage quest line so time for lessons so you see i attend class and by watching the professor i gain xp and learn about magic how awesome is that Just skip class and cheat on the final exam. <laughs> Hogwarts EAF. Oh yeah. So I just sit here, and especially early on, the levels start to rack up really quick. So we're going to sit here and learn all about alteration for a second. <laughs> Is this cool or what? You can actually go to Magic College. And this is going to be especially helpful because the mod that this character is based around It doesn't start until we hit level 30. So see, it's a little bit slower going. The part of Hogwarts where the students and the teacher just keep making their flesh hard while hanging out. You've read that fanfic? Oh god. All right, alteration lesson is over. Let's, it's time for our conjuration class. Hit 
He's even more on fire. Nice. Fire Atronachs are quite lit. Did you know there's actually lore about those things? I didn't learn that until recently. Apparently they're from a plane of oblivion called Infernus. And the planes of oblivion that are the home to the lesser Daedra, apparently they, like where a Daedric Prince's realm will reflect the personality of the Daedric Prince, for the lesser Daedra, the plane that they live on reflects the collective will of the species. So like flame atronachs want to live around fire and volcanoes and stuff, so that's what Infernus is. It reflects the collective will of the flame atronachs. Pretty cool, huh? Weird fucking looks for having burns where they shouldn't be, but that fire Atronach was giving me those looks, and you know how it is? Oh lord. Do not fuck the Daedra. I'm pretty sure that's one of the first lessons they teach you in Conjuration class. Do not fuck the Daedra. Like that kind of lore? It's cool, isn't it, Pearson? This is the kind of shit that doesn't get talked about in-game. Hey, Merc. Uh-oh. Do not fuck the Daedra. Not even the Daedric Seducers. Especially not the Daedric Seducers. They're the Elder Scrolls lore equivalent of... the Succubus. Hey, Volbeats. Welcome back. You kinda wanna fuck the Daedra? I'll, I'll pass on the Daedra. Wouldn't mind having a go at an Elf Woman, though. What'd you miss? Uh, we're in college now. As you can see, by the fact that our magic skills are leveling up, we're learning a lot in class. Oh shit, conjuration is over. I'm gonna be late for illusion. Actually have classes? Yes, this is the immersive College of Winterhold mod. And like I said before, it basically turns the college into Hogwarts. <laughs> You're late, Elfie Potter. <laughs> it is Hogwarts. Believe it or not, they actually have classes at the college now. You know, like colleges do. Whee! <clears throat> Magical student debt. Oh no. If only there was a spell that would allow me to turn iron into gold. Gotta run, enjoy classes. Alright, Amanda. Have a good night and thank you again for the raid. Guys, if you're not already, please go check out Fairytale Felon. She's a dear friend. And she plays a lot of soul stuff. And... She really tries. Kappa. Nah, she's great. Go watch her. <laughs> Go to Twitch to relax after a day of classes and this is what you come to? <laughs> to be fair, I bet these classes are a lot more fun than real classes. I mean, I'm in college. I know these are more fun than my classes. Like, if magic were real, you can bet your ass I would go into so much fucking debt learning how to do that shit. Like, it wouldn't even be a question.
not played Skyrim, but it's one of your fiance's favorite games. It's really fucking good. It's really fucking good vanilla. Modded, it's the best game ever. Because you can basically mold it and turn it into whatever you want. <laughs> This is the only game, as I've said a couple times now, this is the only game that I have more time in than Dark Souls 1. 1600 hours on PC alone. If magic were real, you'd seriously be considering breaking the rule that I said earlier? What? About fucking Daedra? Alright, illusion class is over. Time for destruction class. Feel like you've been a slacker with this game now? You have! 400 hours? Those are rookie numbers. You gotta bump those numbers up. Never had it on PC, had it on PS3, which is still the lowest quality, which is like the lowest quality version of it, and it's still one of your favorite games. It's, it, it is easily top three for me. And I originally had it on Xbox 360. But I saw a video about this very mod, actually. And I was like... This, this, the existence of this mod was what convinced me that I needed to start gaming on PC. Am I cheating right now, or is this just in the game? This is a mod called Immersive College of Winterhold. Where it allows you to actually attend classes and learn about magic. Normally, this doesn't happen. The professors don't actually have classes in the vanilla game. So I'm in class right now, learning about destruction magic. It's fourth period. Yeah, exactly, Yomu. <laughs> Leveling up fast. Well, th these early levels are really easy. Sick, isn't it? Leveling up magic in Skyrim is a bitch, let's be real. It really is, especially restoration and destruction. Like, easily the two... The two easiest magic skills to level are Illusion and Soul Trap. Because Illusion, you can just spam Muffle. And... Conjuration, you can just spam Soul Trap at your horse. And both of those will get you to 100 in each skill real fast. Alteration is a little slower. You back? Hey, Juke. I'm in class. I'm learning about destruction magic. Need to level restoration. You get kinky with some mud grabs. They pinch and pinch. Ouch. No mud crab. Don't pinch me with your snappers. You should throw on some armor when you're getting kinky with the mud crabs, because then you can level your armor skills, too. This tough grows back. What? Don't I think this is a little destructive? Well, not anymore. Destruction class is over. It's time for restoration. All right, now Colette here unfortunately is a little bit buggy. Sometimes you have to talk to her. You can get a restoration of the Good. Of course. Not that I blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. What have you got for sale? And incantations for okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So now I'm learning about restoration. So I can undo all the damage I did in dis in a uh, destruction class. That was noise? What noise? What mod is this? This is Immersive College of Winterhold, Pigsy. Also, welcome back. So yeah, just... Go into classes. Learn about magic. 
Spent forever just using flames and heal other on your horse until you ran out of magicka and then repeating. Yeah, more or less. Um, something you can do to level destruction fast is if you have uh, rune spells. You can cast a rune and then cast a conjure on top of it. Never got this mod working, always crashes the game from some mod conflict. Do you have the script extender installed? Because I think the script extender and the unofficial patch are mandatory for this mod. I know the script extender is for sure. I've got no idea then, Pigsy. No idea. Just trick your Skyrim out to all hell. That that's what you that's how you do it. You you mod it until it breaks and then you fix it and mod it some more. Yomu, are you talking about Shadowmere? The horse from the Dark Brotherhood quest line? Because I think Shadowmere is everybody's favorite punching bag. Just because she's got so much HP. <laughs> Plus, if you kill her, she just respawns, so you're set. And I know, I know that Astrid refers to Shadowmere as he, but Shadowmere is referred to as a girl in Oblivion. Alright, class is over for the day, time to level up. Oh my god. Alright, cool. Alright. Perks, please. Boom. Boom. Alright, let's... Let's throw some perks into Conjuration. Conjuration dual casting. I want Summoner. I want Apprentice Conjuration. Restoration. I want this. I want recovery. No, I want recovery. So my Magicka regenerates faster. Erudite magic would go well with this if you like immersion. Makes you have to go to a teacher to learn magic spells. I mean, that's kind of annoying. Horribly abuse the prisoners in Dark Brotherhood HQ when you finish the storyline. That That's true. You can also do that. Makes you, makes you a little bit of a dick, though. Let's see, let's do Augmented Flames. Alright, how much gold do I have? Alright, let's let's buy some spells. Shut up! What did you got for sale? Let's see, do you have fast healing? You do. Give me that. And, eh, healing hands? Eh, it's not that important. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and learn that. Where'd for all to go? Hi, Tolfdeer. Good to see. So what you got for sale? Master the arcane arts. Really enjoyed the Dark Brotherhood quest line in Skyrim. Me too. Let's see. We want candlelight, and we want oak flesh. Okay. Boom, boom. Uh, oak flesh. Candlelight. All right, and we want... Oh, we didn't talk to her yet. Let's see. Fast healing. Okay. Dark Brotherhood Thieves Guild. I'm not a fan of the Thieves Guild. Not really. Thief was never really my play style. And every time I did the Thieves Guild quest line, I just wind up abusing illusion magic anyway. This better be good. Feralda, where'd you go? Oh, by the way, this mod adds an alchemy instructor. This is her. Say hello to Sleeps in Blossom. Have you heard from your family recently? Where did Feralda go? Is she in the Arcanium? Uh, that's too bad. Oh, you guys wait until you see what this mod does to the Arcanium. We.
Check this place out now. There's all kinds of cool stuff upstairs. Oh, was that Feralda? That was Feralda. Hey! The college is an asset to Skyrim. Sell me Fireball. Fireball. Firebolt? Firebolt. Okay. And bit bit. Okay. Like we've got all kinds of stuff here now. And here's the cool thing, you can actually like read stuff and gain XP that way. You you actually learn at the college instead of just buy spell tomes and eat them. Tome illustrates methods of implementing more advanced enchantments using standard enchanting tables. Boom. Enchanting, 50 XP. Tome contains the attempts of a deceased scholar to translate the dragon language. Didn't get anything for that. I know Firebolt and Fireball are both spells. The one I wanted was Firebolt. Fireball is lame. Because it explodes and kills your followers. And there, goddammit! Okay, um... All right, I think I'm set for now. I think I'm set for now. So let's just go do some random bullshit. Because we need to get to level 30 for this quest mod to kick off. Is this game better than Dark Souls 2? Terra Skull, I've taken shits that are better than Dark Souls 2. I feel like Fireball also does less damage. You might be right. Even though it is an adept level spell, whereas Firebolt is apprentice level. Yes, go check out Terra Skull. A good shit is an enlightening experience. You're right. Oh, hey, you guys said it was dark? Easy. Fix that problem. By the way, normally candlelight is on a timer in the vanilla game. I've got a mod installed that turns it into a toggle. Just so I don't have to keep casting it over and over again. But if you say, oh, that's not fair, well then, here. It applies a debuff. It decreases my magicka regen by 5% when I have it active. There, is that balanced? Are you happy? Are you happy, hypothetical naysayer? Why am I out here? I need to... I need to talk to the dude. Make that shit unbalanced? You're right. You're right. Skyrim is most fun when it's unbalanced. Particularly when you're the thing that's becoming unbalanced. Also, I love how nobody's batting an eye at the fact that I'm wearing necromancer robes. Should probably try to blend into society a little bit better, huh? And we'll throw the knapsack on for a little bit more carry weight. There we go. Alright, let's go find a random quest to do. Hi. Excuse me. Ever tried a camping survival frostfall run? Can't say that I have, no. I've done camping. I used Frostfall for like a day, but it annoyed me because I was using a lot of modded clothing and it was incompatible. Oh, such colors. I know it's it's pretty, right? Hi. This guy has a quest we can do. Right now, I'm gonna bloody your nose. Who the fuck are you talking to? Tomorrow, baby Battleborn. I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. She's dreaming about being a bitch. Hey, where's your husband? I want to do his quest. That shit is intense. Ha! <laughs> I get it! Camping! Get it? It's intense because it's camping! It's intense! I'm so sorry. 
Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Wow. Hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Old friend. You just had to say something. Great clan battle born. A name I'm sure you know well. You just had to fucking say something. Now vampires are gonna attack everywhere. There you are. You Hi. Tried mercenary work. It might suit you. You're not from Skyrim, are you? No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. I've made uh, you proud. Good, Yomu. Good. <laughs> Been wandering ever since. Wait a minute. You have a quest. Why aren't you giving me your quest? Right, Quick save. Quick load. Do I have a dialogue overhaul or something? Um, I've got a mod called Immersive Speechcraft. That lets you do stuff. I have to hear his wife talk about the sword in the middle of the day. Oh, okay. Well, fuck it. I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll go start Dawn Guard. Or something. A modded tongue, you say? Hmm. I know where your brain's at, Yomu. <laughs> All right. You need a ride? Excuse you. Take me to Riften. Take you to where do you want to go? Riften. Climb and back, and we'll be Speak, off. Speak, El. Just because she said that, I'm not never going to. to be sure to visit the Black Briar Meadery. Do you mug the dads, and you'll forget all about the long trip. Wasn't there a mod where Speechcraft affected the effectiveness of shouts? There was. I forget what it was called. Ordinator, that's what it was. Okay, so we don't need candlelight anymore. <laughs> Dawn guard. What might you need? Hmm? The reason why I'm doing Dawn guard is because I want a follower, a specific follower, my favorite follower, my one and only, the waifuiest waifu who ever did waifu. I'm talking, of course, about Serana. Exactly, voiced by the one and only Laura Bailey. You always get Inigo? I don't know if I have him installed. Like I said, my my mod manager is full of fuckery. Serana's is cool, but how about them battle doggos? My pets always die. Like literally without fail, if I have an animal follower, they always fucking die. You're full of what? You're not my mod manager. What the fuck is happening up here? Oh. Well, must have run off. Hunter born! Field dress. Skin pelt. Harvest ingredients. Butcher meat. Dispose. Field dress, skin pelt, harvest ingredients, butcher meat, dispose. Is there a mod that makes the menus not so shitty? Yep. Sky UI. You looking at it. Oh, this is the guy who wants to die, right? Yeah. Shit. Hello. If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. Sky UI is a godsend, you right. 
Um, perhaps I could give you the death you seek. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Sure. Hmm. We shall see. Whoops. There. You get to be with Malakath and I get your shit. Which edition am I using? This is the special edition. Get to use Sky UI, but it looks amazing. It it really is a godsend. It it makes the menu so much more PC friendly. Not the very special edition. No, you can see things. Then you capture his soul. I don't have soul trap yet. Had trouble getting the Sky UI to work for special edition. Uh, my go-to question for situations like that is, did you have the script extender installed? Because I remember the script extender didn't come out for like two years after the special edition launched. You did? Interesting. <laughs> Never knew they finally had Sky UI in special edition. They do. All the big mods have been ported. Yeah, it did take them a really long time, Coops. But now it is working, and it's glorious. Oh, hey there. You here to join the Dawn Guard, too? Truth is, uh, I'm a Hey, Noif. I've never done anything like this before. I hope you don't mind if I walk up. Jesus Christ. That needs to get turned down. Holy shit. For a new vampire hunter, I guess. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Skyrim is really quiet, so I had to turn everything down. I remembered to turn everything down. Except the sound effect commands, apparently. New emote ready for when you unlock your next tier one. What's that? Noif Pog? Nice. Embrace the Pog life. Where am I going? This away. God, sorry about your ears, everybody. How are you tonight, Noif? <clears throat> Paladin Leroy has invaded. Dude, there's a mod that adds, like, Artorius and Ornstein. Like, out in the world, and you can go and fight them. Posted a screenshot of it in my Discord. Let me have a look. <laughs> Oh, cool. That looks really good. And really Irish. And Merc's posting mods. Nice. GG. Thank you. Dawn Guard already? Yes, Rebor. Dawn Guard already. Vigilants are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Karset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra, Karset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, well, I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am sorry, you know. So who are you? What do you want? I want Serana. Got a fire in your belly to kill vampires, eh? Good for you. 
I got a fire in my belly to something around. vampires. There's really not much to join yet. I've only just started rebuilding the order. What can I do to help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell her about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim I hope you guys realize I'm siding with the vampires because Brother I'm evil. Adelbald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Israel. <sighs> he was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for. Siding with the vampires in 2019. With any luck, they'll still be there. Here, you should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you Serrano want. Serrano will remember that? I hope so. She's one of those vampires. Okay, um... What's the quickest way to Dim Hollow Crypt? It's over there. Uh, I guess it would just be to go back to the Great Lift at Alftand. Probably. Yep. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, but that was my ankle. And it's dark, so... Candlelight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess while I'm here, I can... I can add Oak Flesh to Okada's recital. Well, I have to check something first. If I remember correctly, one of these nullifies the other. Deathly Paul, Armor Oak. Okay, so if I do Oak Flesh before Deathly Paul, then Deathly Paul will nullify Oak Flesh. But if I do Deathly Paul before Oak Flesh, then I can have both active at once. Okay. So I'll go ahead and add Oak Flesh to Okada's recital. Alright, cool. So that means I can get double duration by dual casting my death guard. Metro Exodus is really good, and it's no longer an epic exclusive. Evil character, you know what that means. Yoink. Thank you. <laughs> I've heard good things about Metro Exodus, but I can't say I have any interest in playing it. I make you want to create a character? Do it, you won't. And then we can install Skyrim together, and play together. Theoretically. In reality, what we'll probably do is destroy both of our Skyrim installations. Make it quick. Take a look. What you got for sale? It's all bullshit. Okay, I can sell you stuff, though. Um, sell you this, and I'll sell you this, and I'll sell you these. And uh, 30 points, 25 points. You can have that. Well, I'll sell it to you. You can't have it. Here's all the shit I've been harvesting from animals. Um, <laughs> sea Drive appears to be aflame. <laughs> really need to get the mod manager again and get things set up to play this? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Until next time. All right, now we'll summon our death guard, and y'all gonna die. Thank you. Yoink. 
yoink. And yoink. I think I got the better necromancer robes now. Oh yeah, now I'm looking cool. Hi. I'm on my way to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. You must die. What? Who witnessed my crime? Oh, he did. Okay. They call him Dan the Merciful? I don't know about that. Didn't see that coming. Juke has the drive to save it. Stop. All right, uh, Blight Curse and Necrosis. Little overpowered, huh? Ow. Butcher meat. Search. Dispose. Okay. Extract venom. Harvest ingredients. Butcher meat. Search. Dispose. Come, Death Guard. Sounded like a Roblox oof. I wouldn't know. I've never played Roblox. You want to know my favorite thing about Skyrim? Auto move. Watch. I'm not even touching my keyboard or mouse now. Oh shit. Wild Spider wants to fight. Must sheath your weapon or spell. Okay. Harvest ingredients, butcher meat. Don't Dan's game Skyrim. Skyrim is a fantastic game. Especially modded. What's up, Hara? <laughs> you can Dan's game me. I'm horrible. Is this game new? Every time you mod it, it's new. Hollow Knight? That's not Dark Souls. How dare you play a game other than Dark Souls? Oh, this is cool. Pretty sure this is from a mod. I think this is Immersive Patrols. Yoink. 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 Post this absolutely great video about Todd. The hell with Todd? This isn't the game Todd made. I modded the shit out of it. No, not Deathly Paul. Uh, Blight Curse. So these guys just kill each other and I can loot all their stuff. Oh no, I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Uh, Imperial Bandolier. Pouches. Oh no. Um, I dropped the raw spider meat, I'm good. Okay, bye guys, have fun. Vortex mod manager is so sleek. I don't like it. It's new and I don't understand it. The real McTodd? Alright, let me see this video. What is this? It just works. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do me a favor and DM that to me. I want to watch that later. Hold on, it's like dominating my chat now. Okay. 
immersive patches and capes were your bread and butter in your modded game. Uh, this isn't that. This is bandolier bags and pouches. <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, this is the Hall of the Vigilant. Me having fun in a stream? Blasphemy? I know, Dougie. Fucking unheard of, right? Well, I mean, this was the Hall of the Vigilant. <laughs> then vampires happened. <laughs> Why are we making angry emote faces? What, am I not allowed to have fun in a stream? The fuck, guys? The fuck? <laughs> Almost there, which means we're one step closer to waifu. No yay, only salt. <laughs> Need more DS2? I beat it. There will never be any more DS2. These vigilants never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson at their hall. To come in here alone. A fool like all the rest of them. He fought well, then. Jedon and Pressoff had no match for him. Ha! Those two deserved what they got. Their arrogance had become insufferable. All oh, this talk is making me thirsty. Perhaps another vigilant will wander in soon. I wish Loki would hurry up. Enjoying the lack of constant complaining? Well, I don't have anything to complain about. He's entrusted this mission to. Because this is a good game. I have half a mind to tell Loki of your disloyalty. You wouldn't dare. Shut up and keep on watch. Certainly, world's better than Dark Souls 2. Alright, Death Guard, I choose you! What? Death Guard, I choose you! Alright, uh, Blight Curse, Necrosis. Dead. Oh shit, she resisted both. Alright, this is what Firebolt is for. Unless I miss. Nice. Hello, sir. Yoink. Enjoying me playing this because I'm not constantly complaining about the game? You mean you didn't like when I was miserable, like everybody else who watches me apparently did? <laughs> Thank you. All right, later, Coops. Noif, thanks for the bits. Fake Dan got infected with vampirism. Everyone get the torches and pitchforks. We can free the real Dan. I am the real Dan now. I mantled McDan, and now I am McDan. Um... Uh, yeah, I need to dump some of this shit. Let's see, what's the least valuable crap I've got? Eh, storm cloak. Alright, Imperial Bracers can go. Imperial Boots can go. Storm Cloak Carass can go. Ow. Have fun with Skyrim. Alright, Coos, have a great night. I'm sure I will. Why is she carrying three torches? Why does she need three torches? Skyrim logic. Alright, uh... Yoink. Really like Bethesda open world games. Like, I play them for a couple hours and then never touch it again, usually. Halra, this is the one game that I have more hours in than Dark Souls 1. Ooh, enchanted. Yoink. I 
I like this because it has a magic system that isn't garbage. Especially if you mod it. <laughs> oh hey. Dead Vigilant. Gonna take these, gonna take this. That's valuable. Miss Spellcrafting? There's a mod that brings it back. Oh man, the first time I tried Spellcrafting in Oblivion, I made this... I made this ridiculous-ass spell that did, like, three million damage. But it took, like, 500,000 Magicka to cast, which I didn't realize when I made it. And I called the spell Apocalypse Now because it just did so much damage. And then I tried to cast and realized how much magic it cost and realized I was literally never going to be able to cast it without cheats. So then I made the spell again, but I turned down the damage so I could actually cast it. And I called it Apocalypse Soon. And that's my story. Entire Fallout and Elder Scrolls series aren't really things I care for normally, but you're here for me even if I'm not constantly complaining. Oh, don't worry. There will be plenty of complaining in the future. I still owe you guys a bunch of runs, remember? Uh, Blight Curse, Necrosis... Oh, my Death Guard's almost dead, so... Blurp. Yeah. Spell research mod that basically lets you craft spells in the game from mods and things. It's an immersion thing and you eat that crap up. I've heard of that mod. It looked cool. Never got around to installing it though. Vampire dust. Nether rift. Do a zero kills run. God damn it. Hora, not everything has to be a challenge run, okay? Sometimes video games can be fun. Besides, I already did a Skyrim challenge run. I did a Conjurer challenge. I was allowed one follower and one summon. No destruction magic, no weapons. But I did it. <laughs> Ah! Oh, Lord Ejebus. There's no such thing as a spell that costs too much to cast, just enchant a set of clothing armor so that you can cast up to two different classes of magic for free. Not in Oblivion. In Skyrim you can. I was talking about Oblivion. You can't no-kill Skyrim? Sure you can. You just have to get creative. Have to glitch the game to do it? No, you wouldn't. Three sixty no scope. Pew, 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 pew. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, you can totally do a pacifist run. It involves lots of illusion magic and lots of using traps, but it's totally possible. Don't you have to kill in order to progress the game? Progress the game? Uh, no, you do not. Blight curse, necrosis. Wait, this doesn't work on vampires, so I'm just gonna stick with fireball. Never. Uh. Never, uh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
your death. Yeah, the only character you have to actually kill is Alduin. And when I did my... When I did my, uh... My Conjurer run, the way I got around that was I used telekinesis to throw a pie in Alduin's face. And it counted. Boop. Yeah, I used telekinesis to throw a pie into his face, and it worked. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. I owe to Stendar, stronger than any suffering you can What's this actually do? I believe you. And I don't think you even know what you found here. Oh. So go and meet your beloved Stendar. You sure that was wise, Lothiel? He still might have told us something. Sniped. <laughs> Boop. Whoops. Right in the face. March for death and a pie. Nope, telekinesis and a pie. Ouchies. Also, Dragonrend and the Nord Heroes. Yes, the pie killed him. Blade looked like it hurt. It... It... It tickled. Alright, I have to push a button. Guys, it's been a while since I did the Dawn Guard quest. Wait, what? Oh. I have to do this first. Hmm. Is this a puzzle? Man, what's inside the stone monolith, guys? What's inside the stone monolith? Amazing chest ahead. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Who sent you here? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure God sent you here. Who were you expecting? I was expecting someone like me, at least. What do you mean, like you? Um, can't you tell just from looking at me? A vampire. Not fond of vampires, are they? My Elder Scroll is showing. Kill me. Oh yeah. Kill one vampire. But if people are after me, there's something bigger going on. I can help you find out what that is. So weird hearing Serana after watching all of Critical Role. <laughs> Understandable. Install sex mod? Not this installation. Where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. See, here's the problem, Dan. Just because the pie killed dragon doesn't mean it didn't count as your kill in the statistics. That's true. It's the same thing with summons. Alright, um... I love you. I've missed you. I would drink your bath water. 
I'm sorry, what were we talking about? Anyway. Does Blight Curse and Necrosis work on gargoyles? Kind of. Not very well, but it does. That's the best part? What is? It is possible to beat the game with zero kills on the statistics with a tiny bit of glitching, but very tiny amounts. Hmm. Interesting. This feels like the right way. I'm starting to worry. But I'm an evil character, so I need to do all the killing. Literally all the killing. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Whoa. Excuse me? Should be one more. Yep, there he is. My skeleton is the tall one. Kill Serana if you're that evil? No. I will not kill Waifu. How dare you even suggest such a thing. Oh, balls, he can shout, okay. Whoa. Nice aim, Dan. Global bounty in Skyrim of like 15 billion. Priscilla greater than Serana? Hell nah. Hell nah. Hell nah. Deathly Paul has leveled up. Cool. Why don't I bind the spells using one, two, three? It's extra work. Besides, I never know what spell I'm gonna want from one moment to the next. Does Serana have a dragon tail? No, but she has dark hair and beautiful eyes. Lady Maria is waifu? Maria's pretty waifu. <sighs> it's so good to breathe again. If only I liked the this game she was in better. Alright, let's get you to your castle. The quickest way to do that is to take a carriage to Solitude. It's fake Dan. I'm not fake Dan. I'm real Dan. Mantling. It's Elder Scrolls Lord. Look it up. Did I see Nintendo announced a Breath of the Wild sequel? Yes, and I lamented it heavily. Dantling? This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. If you must. If you must. Even if you fix the weapon durability stuff. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Even if you fix the weapon durability stuff, it's climb and back and we'll be off. It's still not Zelda. Yes, it was Halra. Every single weapon broke in ten or fewer hits. So every time you got a decent weapon, you were disincentivized from using it. I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this. All right. Uh, I'll be right back. BRB.
Yeah, my my fucking hotkeys made me sneak. Yeah. Solitude over the mountains. That's exactly what I imagined. Stories about the solitude windmill, and I didn't expect it to be that big. All right, I'm back. Sorry, everyone. I was just so excited to see Serana again after all this time that I had to shit. Don't think it will be overly similar. This is the first time there's a direct sequel in the main series on the same console since Majora's Mask. If if it comes out for this console. Remember, they said Breath of the Wild was going to be on the Wii U, which, I mean, technically it is, but it wound up being a... Uh, a launch title for the Switch, even if it was technically on the Wii U, too. Oh, 
Oh boy, it's Serana. <laughs> yep. I mean, pretty much. You know how long it's been since I hung out with Serana? Literal months. Literal months. I think the last time I got to hang out with Serana was the last time I played Skyrim on stream. Which was almost a year ago by this point. <laughs> by the way, auto move is a godsend. I'm literally not touching my computer right now. You there, traveler, over here. You want to go? Free robes? Don't mind if I fucking do. What was that? <laughs> that was dumb. Why are you- oh. Serana raised the naked guy. Thanks, Serana. Garnet, gold, robes, vampire dust. Just two ladies running around Skyrim with a skeleton and a naked dude. Sounds like a hell of a Saturday night. Two Zelda games that came out right as the new console generation happened? Yes. Uh, Breath of the Wild and Twilight Princess. Coincidentally, my favorite and least favorite console Zelda titles. On both console generations, but no other main series games have had been the same version of Hyrule or set in the same timeline, except Majora's Mask. That's not true. Twilight Princess is in the same timeline as Ocarina of Time. Technically, everything... Technically, almost everything is the same timeline. Once you account for all the timeline branches that happened at the end of Ocarina. They all trace back to Skyward Sword. Excuse me? Oh. Just Stormcloaks and Imperials. Mm. 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 I love how nobody bats an eye at the fact that I'm wearing Necromancer robes. <laughs> I mean, it's different versions of Link, Zelda, Ganon, gotcha. I'm not joining the Legion. I'm joining the Stormcloaks, because I'm an evil character. The fuck? Oh, you foolish wolf. Did I not get restoration dual casting? I guess I didn't, did I? I didn't get apprentice restoration either, yikes. Look at that pose, oh my god! Fucking ice wraiths. Necromancy isn't illegal and isn't blatantly evil in Skyrim. It is blatantly evil in the lore, and not technically illegal in Skyrim. Because necromancy by definition is the manipulation of souls, and all the evidence in the lore suggests that... ...being manipulated, as necromancers do, is very unpleasant for the souls in question. Basically won't be happy if they do Breath of the Wild 2.0. The only reason Majora Mask worked so well is because it was so different to Ocarina of Time. It wasn't that different. It played the same, and it was almost identical visually. 
I mean, it was literally just... It was almost like a total conversion mod for Ocarina of Time. Like, it was literally all the same assets. Oh, I've still got heals up. Alright. Oh, fuck. Is that a Spriggan fighting a troll? I choose you, Death Guard. Let's see how they like Blight Curse and Necrosis. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh shit, I hit Serana. You alright, honey? Are you alright? I'm sorry. Oh, Spriggan's dropped Taproot. Sometimes. Um... Where's the other Spriggan? There's the wolf. Breath of the Wild is your only Zelda game? That's a shame. Basic outline of the game in Twilight Princess is closer to Ocarina of Time than Majora's Mask. That's why Twilight Princess is better than Majora's Mask. Because Ocarina of Time is good, and being like something that's good... ...makes that thing good. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. No, not interested. I'm taking Serana home. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Um... How does one... traverse vertically without dying? Here we go. Whee! But yeah, Twilight Princess was basically a darker, grittier ocarina of time. And that's what made it so good. there. We can turn candlelight off, I guess. Love how the lead dev of Twilight Princess said the game would never have gotten made today. Of course it wouldn't. Everybody wants bright, colorful, happy things. It's terrible. That's how you feel if Breath of the Wild sequel is the same shit. I want the Breath of the Wild sequel to be nothing like Breath of the Wild. Because I don't like Breath of the Wild. At all. Hey, so... Before we go in there... Are you alright? My love? I think so. And thanks for asking. I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there... I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think... Oh, that's what they and always say. Friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Lady Serana's back. Open the gate. Yeah, Merc, that stuff doesn't help me at all. 
if I'm being honest. If anything, it hinders my depression. <laughs> like Breath of the Wild as a game, but not as a Zelda game. Well, I mean, it's not a Zelda game, is it? It's a generic open-world high fantasy game with a vaguely Zelda-colored coat of paint. Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it! My long-lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she I'm has delighted the scroll. to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? This guy's a dickhole. Ah, uh, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? You first. Very well. I am Harkon, lord of this court. By now, my daughter will have told you what we are. You're vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries, we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. What happens now? You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Sign me up. And if I refuse your gift? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. Fucking sign me up. Be still. Ooh, I'm a vampire. This is a good look for me. Awake at last. Good. The power is growing within you, and now you must learn to wield. I'm ready to learn about my new powers. With my guidance, you will become a deadly instrument, striking terror into the hearts of mortals wherever you tread. Now listen to my words and do as I instruct. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the Vampire Lord. Assume the mantle of the Vampire Lord, and we will continue. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and add that to favorites real quick. We this form, you can drain the life from your foes with your right hand. With your left hand, you can wield the or of blood magic to raise the dead. You can also call upon the powers of night to turn into a swarm of bats and reappear some distance away. 
Should you run out of magicka, you can descend to the ground and fight as the beasts. Do so now, and we will continue. Boop. Good. You are weaker while on the ground because you cannot access the blood magic. However, the night powers are still yours to command, and your claws are still formidable weapons. Over time, your powers will grow in strength, and you will find new ways to use your gifts. So, of course, this probably surprises nobody, but I've got a mod for the Vampire Lord Perk Tree culminating in where is it somewhere on here is a perk that lets me literally fly you know since I've got wings here it is Okay, now what? There is much to learn, but if you master the powers of the Vampire Lord, few enemies will be able to stand against you. Select your powers from the favorites menu. Okay. There is one last thing you must know. Slaying mortal men with your <clears throat> life drain grants you new night powers and blood magic. I keep a stable of thralls in the castle should you need to feed like the baser vampires to stave off the sun. That is all I have to teach you. If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, you need only ask. I have a task that will test your new powers. Is that better vampires or sacrosanct? I don't remember. I know it's not sacros I know it's not sacrosanct. It might be better vampires. Don't quote me on that. I'm ready to carry out this task. Good. Go and speak to Garen Marethi. Tell him it is time. He will understand. Do as I command, and you will reap the rewards. Divine Lord, no <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, beautiful. I didn't even think you knew oh, what a what is it? Was. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. Oh, hey. I saw more than enough political maneuvering in my time in house dress. I was tired of it then. Tired of it now. I have a message from Harkon. Lord Harkon, remember your place. Would you decide which step now you're on? What is our Lord's I... wish? It's time. Well, well. He wants the chalice then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? Never heard of it. It is a rather well kept secret. The chalice has been in Lord Harkon's possession for quite some time now. It is, when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. <laughs> Look where he's standing. The fucking compass is over his face. It looks like he's wearing a visor from Star Trek. things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. Code Vein and the Surge 2 come out three days apart. It's the Battle of the Souls likes. Lord to use the chalice, relying on his more than adequate powers until now. This is an intriguing change. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The Chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkin's orders, Ortheolf. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the Chalice. That's me. Really? Indeed. She's off to Redwater Den. Well then, best of luck to you. Vengalmo and Ortheolf are Harkin's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. You, 
you do know where this thing is, don't you? Mind yourself. Don't tell me what to do. And here we are. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the blood spring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into, well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. <clears throat> Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. Yoink. Mind yourself. You want to throw down? All right. Let's go to Redwater Den. Ow. Which, of course, is on the entire other side of the province. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> oh, did you need something? Nope, I'm good. Oh, apparently I need blood. <laughs> Thought I had a mod installed. Oh, and the game just crashed to desktop. <laughs> oh, good old Skyrim. Good old Skyrim. Surprised we made it that far without a crash, if I'm being honest. Rip. Could it maybe be Sanguinar Vampirism? I can check. I could open Nexus Mod Manager and see if I can make sense of anything that's happening. Like I said, my, my mod manager is full of fuckery. Hmm. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe because it wants you to load Vortex. Well, it's not going to get what it wants. Because Vortex is new and different. And if there are two things I can guarantee you I don't like, it's new and different. <laughs> Besides, I watched Lobos using it to mod Fallout 4 the other day, and... It just looked confusing. Pain to learn, but it's probably a stronger modding tool if Finis and Loot are integrated. Mm, I mean, maybe. I mean, probably. Did I not favorite Highborn? Why did it just crash again? Oh my god. What a pain in the ass. This is the Skyrim I remember. <laughs> now we're in Skyrim for real, yeah, seriously. 
This is the Skyrim I remember. Oh my god, I'm all the way back here again. Fuck off, video game. I didn't favorite Highborn, okay. Whoops. No. Anyone know a way to rename spells? Can't say that I do. Sadly. Also, hey, Stunfisk. How you doing? No DS2 today? No, Rain Man, I finished it. No more Dark Souls 2 ever. That game is Satan. Need something? Yes? Alright, the game obviously doesn't like when I go that way, so let's try going this way. And you know what? Let's... Let's save. Just in case. We actually didn't make a... Proper save yet. Got an organizer mod, but all your spells learned before your mod lacks the proper prefix. Why do you need an organizer mod if you have Sky UI? You can just search for them. The fuck? Oh, god damn it. Oh my god, I still have fucking candlelight. Alright, well, let's heal. Highborn to get our Magicka back. We'll summon our Death Guard. Blight Curse and Necrosis. Easy. Quick save. Scared to touch anything on your Skyrim? Too long since you got the tangled mess of mods working? I know how that goes. I've got my entire Skyrim installation backed up to an external hard drive. When I reinstalled Skyrim on this new PC, I literally just dragged and dropped. <laughs> Oh, you want to go? All right. So anyway. Once the game works reliably, you don't want to add anything. Yeah, that's usually how I go, too, but the problem is then later something breaks. <laughs> oh my god, why are there so many fucking bears? What? No, oh, of course. <laughs> Good thing I quick saved. Even with Sky UI searching, it isn't always easy, so now they have prefixes so I can easily see all my shields or conjuration, but the new favorites menu is completely overhauled. Interesting. And you do add something and it all breaks. Yeah, yeah, that's usually how it goes. Or you find a shiny new mod and tell yourself you can squeeze it in. Oh yeah, I, you find out about a mod and you're like, I don't know where this has been but I need it. Doesn't let you go to Helgen nor High Hrothgar until you get crash dumps working? I, I don't know what crash dumps are. Light Curse, Necrosis. Oh my god, he just wrecked my Death Guard. All 52 possible load orders. Well, that's what loot is for, isn't it? Uh, no. White curse, and curses.
Simply log what caused a crash so you'll know what mod is problematic. That's convenient. But your game won't let you go to Helgen or High Hrothgar until you do that? That's weird. Okay. That's really fucking weird. Is it just like, oh hey, you're gonna crash. I wanna know why. Or are you using crash dumps to try and find the mod that's causing it? I got nothing on me. If you're looking for skooma, head on downstairs. Main quest must wait. Oof. Oh. Yeah, but who does the main quest? In the year of our Lord, 2019, Kappa. Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself, or we'll be getting better acquainted. Head on in, and behave yourself. Also stuck with Foos, no Roda. I mean, if you've got good spell mods, you don't really need shouts. <laughs> shouts are nice, though. All right, let's see if I can lockpick. Whoops. The fuck, why is it... Why is it kicking me out of the menu when the lockpick breaks? You know what, fuck this. Time for everybody to die. Thanks. Yoink. Alright, vampires resist it. Ooh, skooma. <laughs> there are mods that let you do fun things with skooma. Where'd my death guard go? I don't know. Fuck it. Gold ring. Okay. I'll take these potions. Yoink. Is someone there? What? All right. Ow. Take these. Enjoy playing as a straight warrior with shouts. Just enough magic to let you feel magical while headbutting enemies in the face. I don't like melee in anything, honestly. Dawnguard questline is completely broken. I had to use console at least three times to fix it. Oof. Like, do you have mods that are conflicting, or...? God, it's been so long since I've done this quest line. What's this? Purified Void Salts didn't spawn. Valerica wouldn't... Well, Valerica not moving is pretty common. 
Whenever that happened with me, I would just fix it with amazing follower tweaks. Oh shit. I would just turn her into a follower and have me follow her into the room. I You want installed amazing follower tweaks? Did you do it mid playthrough? Because that might be the source of some of your problems. Might have orphaned scripts running around in there. Ruined book, I don't want that. Um. Your old save with AFT is corrupted. You, you're having all kinds of problems. <laughs> That's rough, man. Sorry to hear that. Uh, whatever. Gold, gold, gold. Can't load any old saves because of new mod lists. So why don't you just drink the blood from the spring? I mean, that seems easier than running a slew. Awful lippy for a thrall, aren't you? Bad dog. <laughs> also enjoyed your vampire thief shout pure vanilla playthrough, put all stats into health and abuse the vampire rings for ridiculous HP, or just enough magic good to be an efficient mage in vampire lord form. Interesting. Yeah, the, the most interesting one I've probably ever done was my Conjurer playthrough. I wasn't allowed to actually do any damage myself. I had... I was allowed one follower and one summon. And... I had to just manage that. Necromage Vampire is broken. Necromage Vampire is good. Thank you for reminding me I need to get that perk as soon as humanly possible. Was I allowed to use illusion magic? Yes. I just wasn't allowed to use destruction or any weapons. So I was allowed to use illusion and I could use alteration. But I couldn't use destruction. Yikes. And I wasn't allowed to use any spells from mods, or use any mods that changed gameplay. Those were the rules I imposed on myself. Ordinator perk tree overhaul appears to lack the necromage perk. That's why I don't use perk tree overhauls. Oh, Jesus, tits. The fuck? I'm nowhere near these pressure plates, but okay. Oh god. What? How? How is that missing? Oh god. Alright, you know what? Fuck all y'all.
Yeah, that's right, I'm a better vampire. What are you gonna do about it, fuckers? Magic is the anti-trap? What do you mean? Vampire armor of minor destruction. Fifteen percent less, one hundred percent faster. Oh, we are throwing this on. Did I just drop it? What the fuck? Damn it. Alright, there we go. Wait, what the hell? Oh, god damn it. Uh. There we go. Hey, Zero Tool. Hey, I'd appreciate it if, uh, if you picked a different word. It's kind of shitty using that word to describe something that's bad. Magic makes traps a lot less dangerous when you can instantly heal through the damage. Yeah, that's true. A little accident. Yeah, I accidentally killed you fuckers. Whoops. My bad. Thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice. Hey, Del. Thanks for the host. Ooh, honey nut treat. I'll take the gold. What else we got here? Ah, oh, this shit's all stolen. I'm not going to be able to use it for anything. Fusroda. Not yet, Del. Not yet. Oh, hey. Everyone's dead, and now so are you. Ow. And you know what? You're also dead. What? Oh, Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim. What's my weight? I'm doing other quests first. I'm doing, uh... I'm doing Dawn Guard, and then hopefully by the time I'm done with Dawn Guard, I'll have leveled up enough that I can, uh.
I can start the undeath quest line. Which is a quest line from a mod which will allow me to become a lich. Hello. I see you have returned. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume. Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. They did. As well you should have. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Vingalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our lord, you have increased his power over them, and at the same time, deprived them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart, and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. Okay. <laughs> I just want a quest with Serana. Hello. Ah, you are here. Good. You wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. I suspected as much. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind will serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As you know, <sighs> vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. <clears throat> and until recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun. It and wasn't no actually longer written by a moth priest. Tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come now. And hear my proclamation. Okay. We port. Hey, Juke. Welcome back. Sire I'm a vampire. Hear my words. Aren't I pretty? The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself and forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now that I have reclaimed one of my elder scrolls, we must find a moth to read it. I have spread forth it's not 1257 out there, Del. The discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a moth priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a moth priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now. Oh, Carry hi, Pupper. This, task. this is my command. It will be done, I wish my lord. Feel Interesting. Would just get oh, my God. Kill each other. Any idea oh, how you're going to find a moth priest? To Skyrim's a pretty big place. Is she a dark elf? No, high elf. Do you have any ideas? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. Yay! I'm going to get out and explore a bit. 
Hooray! Let's go. I am above the petty squabbles here. Let's go. Yeah, she's a high elf. See? Anytime I play a mage, pretty much, I choose high elf. What now? Can I manage you I'm with... Crash. <laughs> <laughs>